quickly was suggesting mm-hmm. something like rook b4 or something. But queen g4 is really an annoying one, right? You just got in your break, and then the next thing you know is that your opponent's pinned. Whoops, that was supposed to have pinned your knight. Yeah, and what you definitely H4. don't want is a queen exchange, because then, then your queen side would become even easier to attack, right? Okay, just to be clear, so yeah. you don't want to play a move like queen f7, exactly. because you're saying that after swap, 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 you're fearful that uh, that yes. b7 is going to be very weak a hit uh, until it's just over. Yeah, of course, looks you know, right. you might mean, have to be a bit careful with e4 moves and whatnot, but the general impression is that uh, end games, uh, if white has a little bit of time, that's just going to uh, win a pawn on the queen side. So, uh, and it was for this reason, therefore, yeah. that, that... Very uh, radical way of... Uh, dealing with yeah. this. So, Wesley said, thank you very much. I'll take the pawn. Rook f5, queen h4, knight g5. A little bit of dynamic yeah. uh, play. And as you've mentioned, e5, e4 is a, the disruptive move. Yeah. Right? Just when you're not watching, yeah. suddenly that e4 and then uh, black's pieces actually have something going for them. I must say, Yasser, yeah, if white does not play e4 himself, I feel that the position is a little disconnected, but then again, my biggest worry here is that is black just suddenly able to sort of shift gears and, and get all his pieces towards the king side, when especially my rook on b3 is sort of, you know, Stuck. it might take on b7, but if, if there's three pieces looking at, at my king on the f file, nobody really cares about the <laughs> pawn on b7 yeah, yeah, anymore, right? Right, right. So, you can make, uh, make do with that. Yeah, so... Okay. Now, having said all of that, you mentioned e4. Let's have a me- let's have a look. See, I'm yeah. assuming knight f3. Yeah. Knight f3 is box, and again, you you will boldly claim yeah. what is your rook doing on b3. Not only that, I, I actually I also dislike the placement of the queen on h4 somewhat because where is it going? I can you know it doesn't have that many squares. Uh, the good thing is maybe that if I triple up, if I ever want to play rook f8 and queen f7. Then you still have that queen around with queen h3, uh, but for the moment it's not easy to improve the positioning of that piece. No, I, Brian, I'm sorry, I'm just not liking uh, this at all. Uh, I, I, well, I'm I a love, pawn grabber. I, I, it, uh, I must say, I love what uh, Pavel has done with it, and this was kind of what I was saying that I had this feeling that he really likes to provoke uh, play on the queen side, and then he's going to strike. Uh, the way he did it with h5 was a little bit beyond my imagination. I, I didn't expect it to happen that quickly. Right. But uh, no, I, this is this is more than compensation. This is a uh, uh, this is the sudden fear. Yes. This now is the, the fear, fear factor. <laughs> yeah. There's a fear factor going on here. Uh, I mean, this is not comfortable for Wesley So, who has been just regal in his last few events. Uh, all that game with Richard, what a turn! What a turn! Yeah, if yeah. he had seen c6 and queen yeah. e7, he or even so the simple close. rook d2, yeah, rook d2 was a very easy one. Also, yeah. an easy that was the human way yeah. of doing it. Uh, but Wesley, fortunate in that game, otherwise, he's made it for himself. Well, the problem is, as you said, the, the, the queen uh, is kind of well, it is simply misplaced here on h4 you put it on a more normal square but yeah, if i course. if i try to go there if i go here uh i walk of course into the discovery yeah. oops that and, is and ugly fortunately your queen h5 is also a discovery so. right i walk into a different but similar discovery and i'm not very happy about losing my queen for a rook and a knight but i was thinking that okay if i want to challenge the f file I would like my queen on e2 when I make the challenge, yeah, right? Sure. Here, I'm okay. Let me do it a different way for a second. Let me try b4. 
C4. C4 yeah that's C4. a move I like because it really tries to uh, bring the rook in and if you could play e4 now then actually, I'm in, then I'm great well I mean you're then simply I'm winning a piece actually right well, right so, yeah uh, so e4 for black would be my first uh, reaction I'd say. and a very good one yeah. <laughs> now I regret a lot of things yeah. about my <laughs> position suddenly not the least of which is that uh, it's going to be very hard uh, to challenge that knight, that knight on g5. What Look a piece. At, huh? What a piece. It's just at bay, ready to strike. Queen f7, rook f8. This, you know, again, we don't have the chess engines. We tried to think in practical terms. You know, the clock times 24, 20 minutes. I must in say. In practical terms, I'd rather play black. Oh, absolutely. I think, especially considering the time that they have, I feel that black is really uh, having a pl very pleasant initiative right um surely this is harder to play for white for so far the com the moves have come naturally for black right but what was really difficult is getting here <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> okay let's just uh let, let's give it a shot i'm gonna go rook a th rook c3 okay let's say rook to f8 very new rook to f8 very new well rook to f8 very new rook to f8 very new well e4 for black cutting off the fourth rank so the rook can't get back into the game was played king g2 queen mm -hmm. f7 i'm surprised he survived this because this looks so bad at first but yeah first glance is yeah. pretty pretty awful knight takes e4 queen takes d5 rook I, I just uh, whoa oh, oh hold on it looks like pavel mm. thought that he's going to win an exchange here but maybe Miss Knight of Six check. This is like, it has echoes of the game of... Luke. Luke. Yeah. And we, wow. Knight F6, Knight D3 by yes, Luke. Exactly. Knight F6. And the what? point being, of course, if G takes F6, uh, Queen G4 check uh, somehow saves the Keeps day. Keeps everybody happy. Yeah. And uh, even Black has to be a bit careful. Because we're taking, and after something like this, we're, as you say, black is the one who's having to be careful suddenly. So knight f6 check, an easy move. Yeah, because if you think about it, I, I'm I'm fairly sure that Pavel, you know, he went all the way queen f7 here, based on this line. Because uh, otherwise, you know, with the queen, we saw it's many times it's eyeing this h3 square. Mm -hmm. He would have maybe more seriously considered the move rook f8, which is also a very logical approach. Exactly. Uh, and the question is if now Wesley would have been able to get away with knight takes e4. Yes. That is a very good question because in takes. previous lines mm -hmm. we were looking at some... Uh, opportunity of rook yeah. d2. Now he has the luck or the resource, so to speak, of rook f4 at his disposal, something that we didn't s see before, but queen to b5 does look does scary. Look very <laughs> scary. It does look S very scary. Scary indeed, because by the way, there's also yeah. a. So rook to f4, let's imagine, and queen e2. Right. So we've got. Well. Maybe it's is it know, a checkmate? I'm mm, I'm not I, sure. Maybe I'll it's take. A take and queen e six. Uh, uh, sorry, oh, sorry. King. If you wanna you wanna go king takes. Oh, we oh, do oh, have oh, a okay. result. Okay, so a let's result. let's get yeah. to the game. In fact, the way it was played: king g two, queen f seven, knight takes e four, queen mm -hmm. takes e five. Now, if he's mm -hmm. you just look at this position in your mind's eye. You're not expecting the knight on e4 to move anytime soon. No, no <laughs> right? you really don't. So you play a move like this, expecting, like yeah. you say, to win an exchange. Thank you very much. A shocker. Oops. Knight f6 check. Yeah. Rook takes f6. And Wesley So escaping into a, a double rook ending. Which does indeed look very drawish because even though White's up upon, uh, his, his structure is quite scattered. So it looks to me like, yeah, Pavel here. Probably about to pick up the e pawn, then Wesley can go ahead and attack the the b pawn. It's still a target after all this time. I know. Uh, but the players clearly they saw that this is going to towards a, a drawn draw. position. Which I mean, let's put it on the board. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's say, say rook takes e three. I guess rook takes e three. Let's takes, start there. Take takes, takes rook to b four. Yes. 
And the question is, how exactly did they calculate this to a draw? Exactly. Well, <clears throat> let's just propose. It, yeah. It's always nice to keep the guy's king on, stuck on the rank, right? We'll yeah, do C something. Yeah, c5 or maybe even king h7 at some point. Yeah, no, honestly, I, I think the... And there's going to be there's a lot many of ways. hacking. Yeah, because yeah. the thing is really that if white were somehow able to at least leverage that extra pawn and activate his king as a result or something, then maybe uh, Wesley still saw some prospect in playing. But, you know, with this double h pawn, nobody really, really interested in that extra pawn. So most likely going towards a two against one in the best scenario, which right. is just a draw, right? Just a draw. So, But Wesley cat-like... Yeah, yes. you know, he yes. lands on his feet even when he's when you think he's falling. Yeah, well, it's interesting to know uh, what the players think about uh, you know alternatives to uh, when that queen f seven queen takes d five happens. Um, that's really you know very very debatable moment in the game where surely Pavel could have at least um, this really looked get dangerous gotten more here. out of this initiative uh, than a draw. I mean, that, that's our feeling. I think that. Uh, yeah, Wesley, Wesley cat like, like you said, escaping again from what looked like it was about to become a very vicious attack. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. All right, let us 